Hello, hello, hello. Today, um, I worked on this drawing of a raccoon jawbone. Um, so I just finished a course, uh, Natural History Illustration through edX. It's an amazing course, I've taken it before. And um, at the beginning, it suggested that you do a drawing about for a half an hour of, of an item. And then at the end of the course, six weeks later, you do it again. But the first drawing, after you do it, you put it in an envelope or something, and then you wait. You don't look at it, you don't take a picture of it, you don't know anything about it until at the end of the course, which is today. So I'm going to be comparing uh, this drawing that I did on February 15th to this drawing that I've done today, which is uh, March 27th, I believe. And we'll see how that goes. The last time um, when I did this, there was a huge difference. I'll see if I can find the pictures and put them in, but there was a huge difference last time. I'm a little nervous that there won't be um, as good of a difference this time, um, but we'll see. Also, the raccoon jaw itself, um, this time is missing a tooth. I don't think it was missing a tooth in that spot. I have a few of them, but I don't think it was missing that uh, tooth um, right uh, there. There's a hole there. Um, and I'm not sure if I did it uh, took it, drew it this way, or if I drew it uh, this way. So, I guess we'll find out in a minute. So I'm realizing that I did actually, uh, the other raccoon jawbone that I have down here is the one that I actually uh, drew. Um, and the only, the big reason I can tell is because of uh, this, this um, upper part of the jaw bone, the joint part here, um, being missing. And you can see that it's missing up there. So big differences um, in these drawings. Um, this one, it, uh, I think, if I'm looking at them side by side, um, well, obviously the first difference is this has a lot more contrast in it. Um, and this one is a lot more subtle. Um, in the in the way it's done. Um, if I would have had more time, I would have gone over that one more. I was focusing more on getting shading a little bit smoother and um, getting proportions correct. Um, and this one I noticed that this tooth is very rounded and this one is kind of um, pointing out that way. Um, I, I went in for a little more detail quickly here. Um, and this is part of the contrast, but you can see the the um, way that the, the bone is kind of um, more dirty here, and and uh, I kind of went a little bit more for that. And in this one I didn't really get to detail very much. Um, I tried with this one using a negative space box. Um, so ultimately, I think this one has uh, more detail, more contrast. It's easier easier to see. This one, though, has a better base, I think, for um, moving forward to do a better drawing. So that's the difference in uh, in this one this time. Six weeks later, so this is the first one, and that's the second one. Um, for the Natural History Illustration course through edX, which again is fantastic and if you get a chance to sign up for it, it's free. Um, if you get a chance and you want to sign up for it and improve your um, realistic drawing skills, it's fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic. Actually, I'll show you the final drawing that I did for, um, for that class. Um, move these out of the way. The final drawing that I did was a Pelargonium peltatum, which is an ivy geranium. And um, that's the final drawing. And 
I'm very, very happy with this one. I think this is the best pencil sketch I've done ever. So, um, anyway, good luck with your drawing skills. Keep on going. Keep on learning. You never know what you're going to make. You never know how you're going to inspire somebody. Just keep going.